Hi! So this is my very first beauty favorites video and this is for the month of May for 2013 and I enjoy watching these videos so much that I just decided I might as well go ahead and just make one. And some of these products I've been using actually longer than a month, even some for over a year. But um, considering this is my very first beauty favorites video, I went ahead and just, you know, gathered up my favorite makeup products that I've been loving. So this is kind of like my makeup show and tell, if you will. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a video like this every month, just because I really try not to buy new beauty products too often. I try to use up what I have, even if I don't like it before I purchase something else, you know, save money and whatnot. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kick it off with my very favorite foundation. This foundation I've been using for over a year now and I think I've repurchased it, oh, I don't know, maybe three or four times and it's from Revlon and it's part of the Colorstay line. It's Colorstay Whipped Cream Foundation and um, I don't know, I love Revlon Colorstay anything just because it really does last for a very long time and I need my makeup to really have good long wearing capabilities just because my days are extremely long so I put my makeup on in the morning and I need it to last until you know, until I go to bed at night. And uh, this foundation is very, very unique in its consistency. It's kind of a thicker foundation, but it's not a mousse, but it's not a liquid either. It's kind of like a milkshake type texture. Now this is definitely a medium to full coverage makeup, just depending on how much you use. Sometimes I'll just put it on certain areas of my face that I feel need coverage and then sometimes I just put it all over. Um, it really just depends and I actually apply it with my fingers which actually saves me a lot of time in the morning. I don't really have a whole lot of time to be putting on my makeup in the morning so I need something that's going to be very very quick and this is definitely it. And it looks great on the skin. It makes my skin look a lot more smooth and flawless than it really is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to my very favorite blush, and this is from NARS, and NARS blushes are just high quality blushes, and this is in the color Exhibit A, and uh, when you look at it in the packaging, yes, it looks pretty crazy. Um, it looks like clown makeup, but it really isn't. In the package, it looks like it's like a bright red color, but on the skin, it looks more like a corally pink color. Now, you do want to apply this with a very light hand, so a little bit goes a long way. Now, NARS blushes are very expensive, but they're very high quality blushes. And especially with this one, I don't need to really use a lot to get the color payoff. So this one's going to last me for a very long time. Okay, so my favorite highlighter is a powder highlighter, and it's from Lorac, and it's called Perfectly Lit. And I'm using the color Luminous, and it looks like this. Really nice, compact. Um, it said Lorac right here, but that part's kind of faded off. I've been using this for a few months now, and I actually use this every single day. And I just kind of dust, you know, with a very light hand on my cheekbones and on the high parts of my face, and it just kind of makes your makeup look not so flat. So it kind of gives you that dewy, it's not sparkly, but um, I don't know, it just makes you look a little bit more fresh and a little bit brighter. So my favorite bronzer lately has been from Bare Minerals, and it's their all-over face color in the color Faux Tan. And here's the packaging, but it's got sort of that wheel that you turn and then the powder kind of falls out. Um, I really like this because of the color. Now I've been using the NYC Sunny Bronzer for a while, but it just really doesn't show up in the summertime when my skin kind of gets a little bit more tan. I really needed something a little bit darker that was going to show up on my face, and this is definitely it. Bare Minerals products are really great products because they kind of go on very, very smooth and it looks very natural, and that's what I love about this bronzer. Next product I've been loving is from Urban Decay, and it's the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Stash. And it looks like sort of this metallic olive green color, 
Now I love these pencils because they're so long wearing and you don't even really need an eyeshadow primer for them. They're completely um, smudgeable so you can smudge it out to kind of give yourself like a smoky eye kind of effect but uh, they're just high quality pencils. They're very creamy going on and they don't tug and they definitely last a very long time and I love this color. Okay, next I'm just going to move on to nail polish. I picked three nail polishes that I've been wearing a lot lately. And the first one is from Revlon. And this is in the shade Copper Penny. And so this is a really metallic coppery color. The next shade that I chose is also from Revlon. And this is a glitter nail polish. And it's in the shade Heavenly. And the reason why I like this one is because it has like the opalescent glitters and the glitters are kind of big and chunky and um, they're sort of like different shaped glitters like I see some square glitters and some hexagonal glitters if is hexagonal a word I don't know but um, it's got a clear base to it but with really pretty sort of like that pearly opalescent kind of glitter so my last nail polish pick for this month is from color club and I have the sample size of this but it's in the color Age of Aquarius, and it's this bright green color. I actually was wearing this in my May Ipsy Glam Bag video, and I receive a lot of compliments on it every time I wear it. And it's just this really pretty bright green color, perfect for summer, perfect for when your skin is a little bit darker, and um, I don't know, it's just a fun color. Okay, so the last product I want to talk about is from Pantene, and it's a hair product. It's their Pro-V Overnight Miracle Repair Serum, and this says that it erases six months of damage, and it looks like this. I think this is a new product for Pantene. It hasn't been out for too long. So since I've been using this product, the condition of my hair has greatly improved, and I just sort of use it two to three times a week. I apply it before bed, and when I wake up in the morning, I just style my hair as usual. Even if it means I have to wash my hair, I'll go ahead and do that. But um, my hair has just been a lot softer and a lot smoother, a lot more manageable. So I'm definitely loving this product. All right, so that concludes my very first Beauty Favorites video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope it wasn't boring. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Please check out my blog and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you next time. Bye.